Holy packs. All right, guys, I got a long one here for you. So buckle up, strap in, and get ready. I did a, I've done these before. You've seen them with me uh, before, the best darn sports car slot, uh, Dr. Scott. So I did a couple of his over the, this is a while ago. I did some, maybe right before the vacation or during the vacation there, uh, the holidays. And I, I've been on a several, several of the lots. Um, and what I, what he does is he usually does a baseball one and he does a, 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 a mix of sports one and he starts his lots off at five cents a piece and then it, and then you obviously bid up from there. So usually what happens is I'll max my bid out, you know, around two bucks maybe or something like that. And sure enough, if I lose, he'll, he'll give me a second chance offering and, you know, and, uh, he'll probably put together a pack for me. So I, I go ahead and, uh purchase it for a couple bucks. So all of these were just, you know, a few bucks. Uh, and then I think we combined the shipping on them, but uh, usually it's like six ninety five or or something like that for shipping. Or maybe a little bit more than what um, what it normally should be. It should usually be about four ninety five. But nonetheless, you spend about eight or nine bucks per per pack or per box. And because I guess I, I won a handful, he gave me this bonus set. Right, he told me to pick number one through uh, 700. So I picked number 700. Um, and so I, I assume it's just another one of these packs. Uh, but then also every lot you win, he comes with a free, or he gives you a free pack of cards of some sort. So we'll see uh, We'll see what comes out of there, out of the mystery stuff. So we got a lot to unravel here, a lot to undo. I'm gonna start with the, the baseball ones and then we'll go to the mixed sport ones. Um, depending on how long this takes, maybe I'll do another video of it, but I was hoping that I can just kind of grip right through these. The thing is, he does a very good job of packaging. So I have to give him that. Dr. Scott is definitely meticulous when it comes to packing up the cards. Um, <laughs> but the other problem is, it's almost done a little bit too much that it's hard to really get the cards out without damaging them. So, oh, excuse me while I cut. Probably should have just pre-cut these and then I would save some time. But, all right, here we go. Perfect, save the corners. All right, throw that over there. All right, so we have a 74 traded twins deal for Hudley, Randy Hudley. So, then, and, and in this mix, you're gonna get some newer all right, you get some newer cards. Javier Baez card, I think it was 2019, 2018. Ah, oh, I was getting, I'm getting better. And then you get some Topps archives here. Bob Keen. Oh, you get a Sano. Right, he's a he's a good player there for the Twins. And then you get some old school cards like this, like the Billy Butler. Now, this is a a 76 card, but it's a common. So you get a lot of the 70s or even 60 cards that you get are going to be mostly common. Scott Sizemore rookie. You got a Ruben Sierra, Ames, Marwin Gonzalez, and then Reglio Moret. I don't know. He kind of looks like, uh, what's his face? Rondo. Raja Rondo. Hmm. But it's a 73, I mean a 72 card. Here we got Future Stars, Jose. I never say this guy's name right. He's a good, he was a good pitcher there for the Astros. George Kelly. A little throwback here. Hunter Strickland with the uh, <laughs> HBP. Bruce Sutter. Everybody loves Bruce Sutter, huh? I guess he's a Hall of Famer. Kenston Haru. Haru? I don't know. R Ron LaFleur. There's a late 70s card. Will Contreras. Rookie card there. William. And then, uh, uh, what was this card? 2021. Hmm. Chipper Jones, all right. Nice stadium club there, probably towards the tail end of his career. Lee Lacey, 75 tops for that. A little off cut, but there we got Alex Woods, a chrome. Alex Wood rookie. That's not bad at all, chrome. Am I off camera here? That's pretty cool. And then superstar duos, we got Bryce Harper and Andrew McCutcheon. So I guess Andrew McCutcheon gets the backside of the card with just his random face and 
Bryce Harper gets the front. All right. And we got Brian Anderson. We got Whitey again unscored on. The White Sox versus the Yankees. So this is that Fleer, I believe. Um, official insignia. Yeah, the Fleer Corp. 1968. So that's pretty cool. And then Chris Archer. Moving on to the Pirates from the uh, Tampa Bay. 72 rookie stars. We got Jimmy Britton, Rick Kester, and Tom House. Don't know any of those dudes. But, again, a nice 72 card. You got a Sammy Sosa rookie card. You got a pinnacle, like a David Justice pinnacle card here. Oof. Denny's. You want to go to Denny's? And we got a Jose Ramirez Topps Heritage card. Eddie McKissick. What we got here? Throwback to the 68, huh? All right, 60... I don't know. I thought it was like the 68 one, but I don't know who those guys are. 52 World Series highlights. Billy Martin must have hit a home run. All right. Oh, Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice card. Nice. And that's off of the, the new uh, 2021 tops. Throwback to the 65 tops there. And then Bill Melton. He got a 69. <laughs> tops. Aaron Judge. Who doesn't love themselves from Aaron Judge? All star game. And then Johnny Odom. A nice old school card there. Another 67 tops. So some really nice old cards there. Oh, and look at this. You got a autographed Will Crow 1L. And why does he have it? Why does he cross his name out like that? Is that a T? Is it supposed to be Wilt? And he just put Will? Where where is he crossing his T? This that's weird. Gotta look into that one. Looks like he's putting a T in there. Like it should be Wilt Crow instead of Will. But in any case, that's pretty cool. What year is that? Uh, 2021. Nice. So, first pack, uh, first group, I like it. I think pretty much worth the money. Got that Fernando Testi, uh, Fernando Tatis card. Got a lot of vintage cards here. Let's throw that Tatis card out here, right? Okay, we got the, uh, Will, Will or Wilt Crow, Aaron Judge, and a few other good stars. Nice, so off to a good start. Yeah, I think given the length of this, I'm gonna make two videos, because so far that already was quite a bit of time just to do one, and we got quite a bit to go through. Maybe I'll speed it up here a little bit. Sure, I don't cut any cards. So we'll throw that out there. All right, so Carlos May here. We got a uh, 76 tops. Rowdy Talese, I don't know who that is. Okoy, I don't know who that guy is. Corbin Burns, rookie card. Tim McCarver, <laughs> more famed for his announcing than anything, but another elite 70s card there. Jock Peterson, nice. Obviously a big player with the uh, with the Dodgers there for a long time until he got traded. Walt Williams, got a 72 card of him. What do we got here? We got Alvisail Garcia, not really sure about him. Darnold Knowles, a little mini uh, 75 tops. It's pretty cool. Kurt Schilling, rookie. The last chance to get into the Hall of Fame for him. He says he doesn't want it, but you know what? He does. Jack Flaherty. All right, we got a Dick Cole. This is like a, some sort of gold autograph or something like that. This is, you, know, you don't really see that in the... Uh, uh, what's it and what's it called? The heritage card. So that might be a, an insert of some sort. Then you got Brad Lidge and Mike Nanini. 
Corey Kubler, back when he was with the Indians. Nelson Cruz, nice card there. Joe Moeller, so what, what year is this one? This is another 67 card. Nice. And then Nolan Arenado, or nice, a little throwback here to the 72 card, right, from the Heritage. It's pretty cool. Bill Rigney. He's manager of the year in 1962, people. Know your facts. All right. Chris Sedin, whatever Sedin. Cal Ripken, little Ames throwback there. Salvatore Perez. Chip Lang. Yep, got the old 77 tops there. We got Riley Green in a, Bow a Bowman Chrome. We got Pete Alonzo. There we go. A little unleashed card going off there for the Don Russell. I wonder what year that is. 2021. All right. So unleashed. There's a new little insert for Pete Alonzo. Luis Castillo. Bill North in the 74 tops. We got Tim Anderson. Nice. Boston Chrome. Not a uh, not a rookie. Far from a rookie, but still like Tim Anderson. Dave McNally. The boyhood Photos of the Stars. Okay. Thanks for putting that in the set. All right. And then uh, we got a Future Stars. Yasmini Thomas. I don't know from when. From 2016. So I don't think he panned out. A Hank Aaron. Baseball. 90, uh, upper Deck one. Oh, Raphael Devers. Throwback to the 71 tops. All right. That's pretty cool. The heritage there. And then another one of these 1968 Fleer ones, Giants versus the Yankees, first NL Series slam. All right, then you got the uh, Atlanta Braves card celebrating. Got Al Sima, I don't know who that is. And then Gary Matthews, congratulations. What did we get? We got a patch of the Gary Matthews from the All Star game. So that's pretty cool from the Rangers. It's a little patch card. All right, how are we doing? Much better on time so far, so let's keep up this pace and keep ripping these open. So again, I'm getting these for a couple bucks. I'll put a, I'll, I'll put a link to either his page or some of the auctions um, if you wanna go check them out. Again, you get such a mix, which is what I like. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get into the new cards. You've seen some of the latest videos. I've done some 2021. 20, Top breaks, um, you know, trying to understand the parallels, trying to understand the short prints, all that good stuff. Here we go. Starting off with 74, Jackie Hernandez. But, um, you know, to get this kind of thing right here, you know, Clay Carroll, granted the guy's teeth are all jacked up, but pretty cool to get a 1969 Tops card, right? When are you going to get that? And then you mix it in and you get a Bowman Chrome card, right? So... I think overall is pretty cool. Donovan Tate, Brett Saberhagen, all-star card. You get Matt Joyce. So you get a, a pretty good thing. Billy Ripken, <laughs> very, very PG uh, writing on the bat. So that's good. <laughs> uh, Scott Matheson. Yeah, right, Brandon Nemo. All right, Mookie Betts. There you go, 2019 Mookie Betts. That's pretty good. He's a good player. Joe Adcock. And you get Justin Verlander. So you get some some stars in this, right? It's not all just commons, even though, you know, you get a 75 tops common, Dave Chalk. But again, if you're trying to build sets too, it's always nice to get these in here. Luca Pauling. Do, do, do. Austin Meadow. Nice. John Matlock. Chris Panache. I don't know how you say his name. Christ Christian Panchi or Panache. But, eh, whatever. 2021. So, rookie card for him. Pretty good on the Bowman. Joe Morgan Kmart card. JP Crawford. Sharon with his teammates. Vic Rosanovsky. A little banged up on this one, but again, 1967 card. Tommy Joseph. I don't know what the HBP cards are, so I'm not really familiar with those. Ray Foss. Zach Cozart. TriStar Predictions. There you go. 
Another Fernando Tatis. I don't know what's going on here with the simulation autograph there, but uh, throwback to the 52 tops, I guess. So two Tatis Jr. cards. Nice. You. Ron Fairley. Right, throwback to the 72. And then, who's this? Oh, another Jock Peterson card, a nod to the 71 tops. Right, so a lot of heritage and, and everything else out there. Bill Miller, Gray, uh, Gabe Spire. Here's one of those Cologne ones. That's Babe Ruth, but I'm not a big fan of that Cologne collection. Here, Paul Goldschmidt. Nice, going over to the St. Louis Cardinals. Clarence Gatson in action. Who's this prominent ball player? Santo. Is that Ron Santo? Okay, a little throwback there for Ron Santo. And again, another Pirates versus the Yankees, right? Uh, and this is again, oh, this is, yep, still the Fleer, the 1968 Fleer. So they must have put that a whole bit on those. All right, National League. This looks like, uh, what's his face, Pence? Oh, no, Jason Bay. I forgot all about Jason Bay. Jason Bay was awesome for the Pirates. Um, here we go. So then we got a patch card for Jason Bay. <laughs> totally forgot about that dude. All right, so let's open um, one of the, let's open this bonus set here. How are we doing on time? We're doing all right. I told you it's going to be a long one. Right now we are getting into it. All right, what is this set? This looks like the Kmart set. So the 20th anniversary Kmart set. So you got Pete Rose in there and everything else. Uh, I don't know when. I'm not going to open this one, but this was uh, 1982. So 1982 came out here and did a, the whole anniversary. So we've actually gotten a couple of those cards in there. So this must be the whole thing numbered 1 through one through 44. So I won't open that, though. That's pretty cool. It's just a little fun set. All right, so this one is supposed to be the best sports lot. So this one is going to be a mix of not only just, I think there'll be some baseball in there, but we'll see more football, possibly basketball. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he really puts a lot of basketball in there. I can't remember. Um, I don't think he would put basketball in there. That would be pretty cool if he did add basketball, but we'll find out as we go. But with this one, I don't think, oh, well, I stand corrected. I was just about to say, I don't think he puts in a, you know, a, a, an autograph or a patch card in it, but clearly he does. So who we got here? We got the 2016 draft picks of Deion Jones out of LSU. Nice. So that's pretty cool. A little autograph there. We'll, we'll bring that down. All right, so here we got Dalvin Cook, great running back, right? Got Fred Hatfield. Ooh, so a hockey one, Stanley Cup Finals. This is an old school one. So the Bruins versus, uh, I'm not even sure, the Flyers. And that one's a 78 tops one, so that's pretty cool. I don't know you. Oh, Cooper Cup. Nice. That's good. He's having a great season. Anybody who did fantasy football this year loves himself some Cooper Cup, I'll tell you that much. Joe Montana, nice, can't go wrong with a Hall of Famer like that. We got Austin Riley. Hey, we got Ozzy Alves, right, for the Braves. Jose Contreras, the rookie, he, uh, he was good for a little bit there. We got the Archives one here for, um, they, what they did for the 1993 Archives for NBA. Allen Robinson had an off year this year, but uh, I don't necessarily blame him for that. Steve Grogan, pretty uh, infamous quarterback for the Patriots. Raquan Davis, rookie card. Don't know who he is. And then you got Ken Torres, catcher. And again, another 69 tops card. That's pretty cool. Melky Cabrera. And here we got Vida Blue. So that's part of that set that I just got. Derek Rose, Prism. Chris Godwin. Nice, next level stats here. Derek Carr, Paul Krause. 
Looking very confused. Kind of looking like that. Who's that dude that plays uh, the Hulk now? He's kind of looking like him. <laughs> I forget that. Ralphio or something this guy's name is. But here's a 77 tops for that. Uh, Gerardo Parra. Johnny Briggs. For the Mariners. Or Brewers, sorry. And then Sandy, I don't know. And then a random hockey card, Pat Peak. I don't know him. Hey, Trayvon Diggs. All right. And we got a Fred Lynn Ames. Oh, yeah, United States baseball team. Uh, he wouldn't throw in the Mark McGuire one, but probably wanted to tease somebody right there. Jerome Bettis, nice. Demarcus Lawrence, nice. Some big football names he throws in here. And then you got the uh, Miami uh, Super Bowl win here. That's when they remain perfect, I believe, right? So this would be for the, uh, I don't know what year the card this is. 79. Hmm. So maybe that wasn't their perfect year. I thought that was more than 72. All right, uh, Jordan Humphrey. You got Eric or something, right? All right, and ooh, Kyle Allen. Nope. And then Jim Turner. So you're getting some early 70s or late 70s football cards. You're getting some big name football cards in there as well. So overall, I think that's that's pretty cool. All right, so this would be the last pack I'm going to break here, if I can find out how to open it. And then we'll go through some of the bonus things that I got. Ah, this one is... What the heck? I don't even have an opening. Come on, Dr. Scott, you're killing me. Yeah, this is good. He definitely, he does a number on this. Wow. See, I gotta do surgery just to get these cards out of here. Well, one thing you can't complain about is how he packages them. They do come pretty well, but. And don't get the corners, perfect. Perfect, all right, we finally got that one. All right. Best Dark Sports card lot. There we go. All right, so we start off with a autograph of Tony. Who? Mounts? I don't know who this guy is. 1997. Wow. Well, an auto nonetheless, but. All right, Deion Sanders starting us off here. Turk Loan. I don't know really anything about hockey, so I assume he might be an okay player. At Healy. Here we go. Chris Carson. Heard a lot this year. Sidney Thornton, now he's running back for the Steelers. Uh, I don't know you. Ivan Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. Ooh, a prism. So this one looks like a kind of, uh, maybe some sort of pink, something refractor there, which I don't think is normally that color. So that's pretty cool. You got Rick Fox. <laughs> Terrell Lewis. Ah, Jonathan Taylor. This dude's having himself a season this year, or was. I guess they're out of the playoffs now. Leonard Floyd. Dave Leonhard, right? So you got the 72 and then the throwback, Jacob Junis. Uh, there we go. Oh, Jake Lehman. <laughs> hey, there is a Rentham, Massachusetts local. Uh, KP Warriors. Uh, so, local legend around here. Dan Deerdorf, right? Webster's dad, a little uh, announcing and all that other stuff. I think Dan Deerdorf was Webster's dad. Jimmy G. And then uh, this must be an archives of some sort. John Farrell, not the John Farrell who uh, is coaching nowadays. This one's all marked up. Somebody was highlighting this, but Jim Fergossi, I don't know. There, Javier Baez, another hockey card that I don't know about, Brendan, Brendan Knox, Chuck Klein, Leo Gomez randomly thrown in there, Ray Lewis, there you go, Hall of Famer, Ed Oliver, 
Cesar Cedeno, Jose Martinez, CD Lamb, nice, Sean Moore, Jeff Burrows, and Steve Young Domino's Pizza. And one fun fact, I did read this on the back of it. It said he is the great great grandson of Brigham Young from BYU. So huh, I guess it makes sense. He's Steve Young, Brigham Young. Um, but pretty good. So as you can see, in the football ones, you get more stars. I think he, he tends to give you a few more bigger names. But again, not a bad, bad haul. All right, let's see here. Oh, legends. All right, this is not a fan of these ones. So I am not 1990 Pacific Legends. So I'm not going to open this one. I don't like those. Some people do. I don't. Man, this guy. All right, here we go. Really wants to keep the mystery. All right, what do we got here? We got 91 Fleer. <laughs> Infamously known as the Banana Pack. So let's see what we get in here. No one's too crazy to write home about here for the 91. So, wow, Mike, you're really getting down. Dave Gallagher, Marshall, Deion James, Perez, Joey Cora. Tanny Elmar Jr., Raphael Palmero, Kevin Brown, and yeah, so nothing really crazy in that one. All right. All right, what we got here? Oh, two packs in this one. And there's football. 97 Upper Deck and a uh, 2002 edition NFL 5. All right, let's open this one up. I don't know what's in here. 2000 rules for NFL 5. It looks like a playing card set. So who we got? You got Tevin Coleman. You got Fumble Run. Uh, action defense, so I don't know who that is. Daniel Jones. You got Anthony Miller. You got training recall. Seems to be some sort of refractor. And then uh, Larry Fitzgerald. You get, it looks like Devontae Adams on this card. Matt Ryan. And Grady Jarrett. So it looks like to be some sort of playing. Supposed to be a playing set, but... I don't know. Pretty cool. I've never seen that before. And then, what do we get here? Alright, so we got... Ooh, Memorable Moments, John Elway. That's pretty cool. Uh, and we got... Who is this? Vinny Testaverde? <laughs> Turf Champions. Another Turf Champions Vinny Test. Two of them in the same pack. All right. Well, there you go. And then you got the checklist by Eddie George, OJ McDuffie, and Eddie Kennison. So, a couple of inserts here. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right. And let's see. Is this the last set in this mess all right last one last one best one this is the baseball lot so i don't know what this is uh, obviously baseball but i mean i don't know if he if this was a bonus set or what but so this might be like some sort of insert set or something like that oh no, look at this it is a big old pack of cards and pinnacle 1992 Pinnacle. All right, so let's see what we get in here. This is a pretty, pretty thick pack. I don't know. 92, not a, not a huge rookie year. I don't know if 93 Pinnacle would have had the um, Derek Jeter in it, but 
All right, sideline reporting here. I don't know, Dwight Smith. Oh, yeah, the shades. That's right, it's just, uh, just Daryl Strawberry. Okay. Um, Cal Aldred, Carlos Garcia, Harvey Pullman. Look at Nolan Ryan being a man's man on the ranch. Cattle rancher, Nolan Ryan. <laughs> Team 2000, Chad Curtis. All right. Starting to remember some of these. Hey, Mike Mussina, Mark McGuire. There you go. Paul O'Neill. Gary Gaetti, Juan Samuel. All right. And that, oh, Lou, Lou Whitaker ending us out here. So, overall, not too not too bad. I think uh, some good things, but this, this obviously was a very long video, so if you stuck with me to the end, I appreciate it. But some cool stuff, and like I said, I'll send a link, or I'll put a link to what he offers down below. Uh, and if you want to try your hand at it, check it out. He's pretty nice. He ships pretty quickly, and like I said, it gives you a pretty fair deal for the price you pay. I think you get a pretty cool mix of cards, and you get some, some cool ones. All right, guys, until the next one.